Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SS Bushcraft and Survival. Um, in today's video, I've got a lot of things to cover for you today. I don't know what order they're going in, it might be all over the place, but at the end of the video, you'll know what, you know what, we're on the same page. So yeah, bear with me guys. So yeah, see us in a bit. Do you want to lead straight into the first thing? Because you know what you're yeah. doing on this one. Yeah, right, what you can see here guys, is an arrow. I've made it because I've got this um, alarm. It's like a rape alarm or a panic alarm if you're in a dangerous situation. Like if you pull it. 130 decibels. What's it? 130 decim decibels. Yeah. Decibels, that's it's it. loud. Put it yeah, there. It goes really a long loud. way. Right. See, um, I've made this bed here because if the floor's wet, it's just it's not wet, but if the floor was wet, it'd save it from messing up and getting soaked in it. But I've got this. I've got this because it's a great piece of tool, uh, great piece of equipment to have. It weighs nothing. It's light, lightweight and durable. Um, and the arrow I've got here is just in case I get lost. Yeah. Everyone would know where I am because that arrow. Well, they're not everybody will know where I am, but they'll know I'm in this direction because if I was five miles that way, they'll know I'm that way. Yeah. But if I'm, I will be five miles that way, I will be five miles that way, I will be five miles that way. So yeah, that's a tip for you guys. Um, it's just an alarm. Wait, wait, where can you get it from, Mark? Uh, Amazon. Anywhere, Amazon. One pound. Just get them online. One They're cheap as chips. But, yeah. We don't know how long the battery lasts, but for yeah. the amount of it weighs, it's worth having, just in case, well, you never know. So just show me an example. Shall I run over there and show me? Go on then, yeah, go on, go with it. Let's just see if we can hear it, shall we? I bet we can, because the bloody thing is loud. So yeah, see me in my next part, guys. Guys, look what Mark bought me. This is my new toy. It's a machete. He got it from his workshop, and it's freaking awesome. It's sharp, powerful, and oh, let me get. Let me try. Don't start chopping the forest down. I want to show you how sharp this is. Look how powerful that is. I can't believe Mark got it. When, I, when he showed me it, when he showed me that, <laughs> I was amazed. But what a tool. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I have been practicing my paracord wrapping, but I'm going to wrap some paracord around that for more grip and it will stop you from getting splinters. And I want to try getting a sheath for it as well because it's sharp and I don't want it to split my bergen. Because if, if, if any cops see me carrying this about, I think I'm done for, really. So, yeah, what a tool that is. Right, guys, let's get down to the point. You all seen what this is, and you all know what they do. You can carry... You well, know they might they... not, Georgie, so, yeah, tell them, right where they can find the videos and what they are. Where they can find the videos? Oh yeah, you can find them on YouTube. But basically, yeah. what that is is a straw that's been sealed either side. If you don't know, with a pair of pliers and a lighter. Carry salt, pepper, or any like um, herb, um, what, herb seasoning, or sugar and stuff. But today, I've got something to show you. Um, sort of project sort of thing me and Mark have been doing over the week. So yeah, let me just show you guys. Let's get down to business. I'll just open it up quick. Light flim. Oh, hang on, whoa, whoa. You know what? Why I've got it? What's this? Now the reason we started at that point, well, the reason will become apparent in a minute. Let's move on. Let's start making some and show people what they are. Yeah. Come on in, go here. Mr. Wind, don't put it out. Right. You do your equipment list or what you need list. Yeah. Right. 
Guys, we've got straws. You can seal it on the end, not at the other end. All right. Now, we you stop lifting out of frame? Pliers. Um. What do you want to call it? Your pokey Danny, Danny thing. Danny thing, yeah, that's it. Just a paintbrush. It's just, you'll see Cotton what that's for. Cotton buds. Oh, crap. <laughs> I just squished it all out. No, don't worry. Um, surgical spirit. Um. Oh, what's it called again? Oh. Syringe. Syringe, just the one. And you can use this as well if you wanted to. It's not, op it's optional, really. But today we're using surgical spirit. Well, I want to show you how to make what I just did there. You see, it's still, still, still all right. All that is, is cotton wool, yeah, with surgical spirit in it. But you could tell how long that's lasting. That's just, just like, really good stuff. What's right. it, Georgie said, if you can't light a fire off for that, you might as well hang your burger up, yeah. I say. Cheeky little git. Um, so, first of all, I want to start with getting a bit of cotton wool out, yeah? Just take a little bit out, just half of it. Just take the other half out like that. Don't even need a lot, really. Just roll it up into like a cigar, a cigar shape, like as thin as, as thin as possible, like that. And I'm gonna get one end of it, poke it down. Right now, with my pokey, pokey downy thing, I'm gonna stab it in. Stab it in like that. Sometimes it's hard, like, oh. but because you got. So it's still light enough, but the wind put it out. Right, with my pokey downy thing, I've got to shove this right in there. If you start it from one end, go. that's it. It's once it goes, it goes. Sorry about the uh, camera. I'm bitten, bitten to crap by midges. Bring it all in. Yes, but she needs the money. <laughs> right, that's in there, right? Just shove it right down the end like that. Don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like... You won't, they won't see there. that. But they know, they've got the idea, Georgie. Go on, crack yeah, on. And now, this is when my... Like, we'll put this down here. Yeah? Now, this is when the surgical spirit comes in place. It's idiot proof. You won't be able to open that. Oh, it's numpty proof. You won't be able to open it. No, you've got to push it. I oh, know, yeah. Oh. It's idiot proof. Oh, it is. Right, I need to get my syringe. You get some for me, Mark, quickly, and I'll get some. I'm struggling to get out. You're trying to rush, that's why. Look, right. right into there. Oh, yeah, of course. You told me to do that, didn't you? You need all the water, you can't make them drink it. Takes that. Now, they generally need about, about, normal stores, about 30, no, no, about 3 millilitres of, yeah, get it on me, that. Wait, no. That goes in now. That's the tip, put the tip in there. That's just your self-explanatory. It's not the method that George wanted to cover. It's just the idea. You squirt that all in like that. Again, surgical spirit is flammable. Right, yeah. now, tip to the wallies. Get me on this, George, right? You see what I'm doing? I'm wiping it down. Surgical spirit is highly flammable. So is this stuff. But it evaporates extremely quickly. So, if we leave a little air gap at the top, there, like that, up, oh, wallop, get over that. He says. <laughs> like as there, Mark. That was last word, you haven't got a clip of it on me, is it? Yeah, oh. put it in there. Right, now, you know what you know I'm going with this, boys, think you? There's some of that excess. Or excess. Yeah, get rid of the excess. Right. And we hold that down. Look. And because we've got it airtight with the pliers, and we've wiped off all the excess on the outside of it, we're so not going to go up catch the flames. Well, look, look. Get the flame away. Job done. Now, George is going to be making a number of these because that weighs next to nothing. And as you can see, I can probably... You keep your hand it's going to light that one again. You can't, but you've done, you've done a good job of charming it. <laughs> you can't, but you get the idea, boys. And that, it stays alight for ages, so it's great to start fires with. So I think, I recommend you guys give it a try, get about three 
in there, fits in your ADC well. So, yeah, should we, should we try making a file with it or? Go on then, we'll get back to it and turn that one off. Right, well, see you in a bit, guys. So, yeah, guys, here we are. Got the um, surgical fluid and the um, piece of cotton wool in there. So, I'm going to open it. We're going to start a fire. Do you, know, do you know what they say? They say um, start fires with small bits first, but me and Mark are saying, yeah, let's just start fires with um, big piece of logs. It's an urgent fire, say if it's an urgent, urgent fire. So yeah, let's, let's try it, let's get started. Cut the top bit off, tip it on this, all that, all the fluid in there, and cut cut this other end off where all the um, cotton wool is. Put that there. And then I've got my my flint. Your fingers are wet, Josie. Your oh, flint won't work. Like that, yeah. Yeah, that's good. 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 Yeah, that's Start off with the smaller stuff, and then until you've got the temperature up, then get into the bigger stuff. Now, because this stuff that this surgical spirit burns for such a long time, we want to see if by putting a couple of braces there and there, we can't get into the bigger lumps of timber for quicker. So we can get a fire going quicker. I mean, it might be completely irrelevant, but you never know. It's going. Oh, at least it's going. Well, it is. Because that stuff refuses to give up burning. And for £1.80 a bottle, boys, I'm telling you, it's some good shit. It's worth it. We would have a lot more of it if my uh, trouble and strife didn't choose to use it to clean the carpet, because it's also good for a, a lot of cleaning applications. But as you can see, yeah, he's doing it, and he ain't... Look, look. He ain't putting little bits of like tinder and kindling on here. These are all that all bit they're dry. Now, you can see the size of it. I mean some of them are about an inch in diameter. And they're on there. Wallop. Up it goes. It's all good, it's all good. Let's go on to these parts, look. I mean they yeah, but they are small, aren't they? Get some of that look, the live stuff, some of the fixed stuff, look. Get some of that on there, see if we can prove the point. Mind you, it might have. Give it time to go up. Camera's all over the place. I'm trying, obviously, you know, I'm trying to film and. This is definitely working, guys. Can't argue with that. Yeah, all right, Georgie, pack it up. I show this kid down sometimes. You are. You've got big stuff on it, ain't you? So I reckon you guys should make make this. Look at that! Look. Just from that little piece, a uh, little bit of flint, um, not a flint, a bit of the um, surgical fluid. One pound eighty from your local chemist, and a bit of cotton wool. Nothing. And a beer, look, wallop. <laughs> Got to have one. I've had and me. a spare light of flint. Look at that. A face only a mother could love. <laughs> Told you, Georgie, you got a good face for radio. <laughs> so, is that. We're going to leave it as that then? Yeah, yeah, leave it there. So. Anyway, boys, look at that. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, leave a like, um, of course. Um, if you enjoyed the video, Hit the subscribe button below uh, if you want to see more of this. Also, okay. because me and Georgie have, have proved mm, not... Oh, what's the word? We've proved that it can work. You can start a fire with bigger lumps of wood. I want to put out a challenge. I want to put out a challenge to anyone. If they make one of these straws, these fire starting straws, 
I want to see how big a piece of timber you can start a fire on just using one of them straws. Let's test this surgical spirit straw idea to its absolute limits and see what we can do with it. It'd be good to see your responses. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching and see you again. Hello again guys. This might be the final installment for this video. But, um, Georgie's come to the impression that... I don't know why. But every fire, should, if you set a fire, it should be used for something. So have an avid stab in the dark as to what Georgie's doing again. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what I'm doing. It's not like I do it every time. <laughs> She's blowing it back in the flame now because it was the end of the fire. You just wanted to do something with it mm. rather Sorry, than it. That's pretty poor, by the way. It's me. <laughs> this stuff. So, yeah. I bet you don't know the other name, the other name you used for. Ah, oh, you flash little git. And it's edible. Piss off now, you're grounded. And it's edible. Yeah, you're grounded. You're still grounded. Anyway, see you soon, guys. <laughs>